So I'm going to show you a workaround on the uh, send to OneNote option that works in the 32-bit version of Vista, but does not work in the 64-bit version of Vista. I got this uh, solution from the internet. There's one solution that requires paying for a printer driver. Uh, we're going to do it for free. What we're going to do is we're going to use the PDF Creator printer driver, and we're going to convince OneNote that that's its printer driver. It's going to be a little technical, but we're going to go step by step, and if you're very, very careful, you should be able to follow along. I'll be doing a screencast so you can see exactly what I'm typing in. If you're on a computer that does not have the PDF Creator uh, printer driver, Google the words PDF Creator. It's a freeware uh, PDF Creator printer driver. It's very nice. The only downside is you won't be able to use it to create PDF files because you're using it as a OneNote printer driver substitute, but we'll find a way around that. There's lots of PDF Creator type printer drivers out there. First thing you want to do is you want to hit the start menu and you want to go to computer and you want to double click on C colon. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder here. This was the part that took a bit to figure out. Uh, Vista won't let you save anything in this root directory but if we create a new folder we can save in there. This was the brainwave that I had that got this to work and proud I am of thinking of it. Organize new folder and just call it OneNote and we'll go one word all lowercase because we need to remember that. Enter and close. Now we're going to double click on PDF Creator and we're going to go Printer and we're going to click on Options. It's going to think about things for a bit and this menu here should come up first thing we're going to do is where it says save, we're going to click on save and we're going to change the standard save format to TIFF, to TIFF. That's the first thing. Then we're going to go to the auto save button right there. We're going to use auto save. Autosave format is also going to be TIFF. And we're going to manually enter a file name. The file name is going to be called send, send to, to one note. All one word, all lowercase. And then we're going to have to tell it where we want it to save. We're going to do that by clicking on this button right here, browse. We're going to go C colon, and we're going to go OneNote. We're going to highlight it, hit OK. And now it should say C colon backslash OneNote backslash. The last thing we're going to do is click on Actions. And this is where we're going to get a little high tech. We're going to add an action after saving. We're going to open a specific program. We're going to do that by navigating, clicking there. We're going to go C colon, Program Files X66, which is a little arrow right there to make it open. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find Microsoft Office right there. Office 12 is what Office 2007 is called on your hard drive for some reason. And we're going to scroll down, down, down uh, until we find not the folder called OneNote. We don't want that. We want the application called OneNote, which is going to be under the O's, and it's going to be a ways down here. M N. almost there. One note. That guy. Let's click it once. Don't double click. Okay. Then this is where we have to get a little high tech where it says program parameters. We have to type in a command and you have to excuse me for a second. I need to look at the laptop sitting next to me to make sure I get this command just right. We're going to go forward slash which is shift question mark or actually just where the question mark is insert doc space quote capital C 
colon backslash, which is next to the shift key on the left side. One note, all lowercase. Backslash. Send to one note dot T I F unquote. And then we're going to hit save. I probably should have left that on the screen a little longer because some of you are going, what the heck did he hit? I'll bring that back. Uh, so save. We standard save format, TIFF. Auto save. We standard auto save format, TISF. Use auto save. Send to OneNote. It automatically puts the send to OneNote.tiff. We navigated our way to the OneNote directory that we created. Actions. Here's where it gets high tech. So action after saving. We navigated our way. We're telling it open up OneNote. And we're telling when you open up OneNote, insert the document that's called send to OneNote that's inside that directory. So this is our workaround to the send to OneNote function. And if we've played our cards right, we should be able to open a file. This is a PDF file of an old provincial exam. This is a 40-page document. I don't want to send all 40 pages to OneNote. And why did I lose my... There we go. So I'm going to go File, Print. I'm going to choose the PDF creator. I'm going to say send pages 5 to 9, just to show you that you can send individual groups of pages. And I'm going to hit OK. There should be about a 10 second delay. And then if all goes well, OneNote should open up. And it should have printed this into OneNote. And now I can annotate this particular file and draw all over it. Thank you very much. The very last thing we're going to do is we're going to change the name of that particular printer. So we're going to go Start, Control Panel, Printer. I'm going to right click on PDF Creator and I'm going to go... How do I rename this puppy? Let's try this again. Right click, Rename. There it is. Send to one one note two thousand and seven. And so from now on, whenever I want to send something to OneNote, like a PDF file, hit print, and there it is, send to OneNote two thousand and seven. Hopefully that works for you. It works on the HPs. It's a free workaround. Now, if you want to create PDF files, I'll show that in another podcast.